Hi, I'm Aoife. I'm a freelance illustrator and designer. I'm a third year VizCom student from DIT and uh, I work freelance for Dot Dash and The Social House. I was always into creating as a kid um, and art. I loved art. Um, I would have got bullied a lot so I think that it was kind of an outlet for me to express myself and I used to love coming home from school every day just to do that. It was my thing, it was what I was good at and what I enjoyed doing. I went to Colossia Dooley straight after secondary school to study graphic design. It was a HND course so I got the diploma after it and um, I wanted to go further so I applied to DIT and I'm studying there at the moment and I'm going into my last year now this year so I'm looking forward to it but at the same time I'm looking forward to finishing so I can uh, start up working in different places and for different people. So This is a store I'm drawing an illustrator for um, some packaging design I'm doing for the cheeky.com. It's uh, going to be a hip flask for babies called Little Hip Flask. Uh, the cheeky.com um, they sell kind of different kind of products on it but they're kind of you can take them either way I suppose and um, they have they, these uh, suitcase stickers and they look like they're being peeled open and um, it looks like you can see cocaine in it or someone's body or something so I don't know how this this uh, baby hip flask is gonna go down but it's it's good because I can put a bit of my personality into it so I'm enjoying working on it and some of my greatest influences would be Kate Moross, um, Mike Perry, Steve Simpson, uh, Peter Donnelly. But I think my biggest influence would have to be my mum. Um, she passed away suddenly last year. And um, I remember two days before she passed away, um, I actually was really upset over something ridiculous. And she turned around and said to me, what did you say to me last year? And I said, oh, I don't know what. And she said, you want to be the best and that's just like engraved in my mind and has been like since that happened so I've just been working really hard since to like make myself proud and to make her proud because I know she's been with me every step of the way. If I was give any advice to people starting out or younger students say definitely find your your own style and your own voice and I think that's what stands out and that's what people notice so I, I think humour is a big thing like I know not everyone is into it but I think if you put your own personality into your work, people notice that and it stands out stands out a lot more than if you just kind of are influenced by someone and just doing the same thing that's been done before. I like to work on some personal projects as well because I think it's uh, important to do that and to kind of keep you interested I suppose. And so I've done this, it's just a print that I'm going to be selling at the Jam Art Factory. It's, um, more street if it was the black market and if they start selling stuff from black market and then um, basically it's just like this woman like it's saying like more mickeys and she's selling like it's like a stand with dildos and then um, it's a guy at the other one saying a real bakery but he's selling like smokes and yolks because um, yeah it used to be famous for getting drugs on it apparently so a project i done recently was a guide to the north side so a lot of my work is kind of based around the north side because I've grown up there and it'd be just little kind of aspects I've picked out from things I've heard or what I've experienced living here. It's uh, basically just as it is, a guide to the north side and how to how to basically survive or live on the north side. Some pages in it we like get a meaningful tattoo and has Nikita crossed out with Stacey and then the morning essentials, a can of Dutch gold and John Clare and it just says you're going to die in the pack of smokes. Yeah, then on the, on the flip side of it then, it's a guide to the south side. The future is looking bright, but um, I'm just going to keep on working hard and uh, pushing myself and exploring new areas. But, um, I don't know where I'll be in 10 years, but I'd like if I had my own studio and, I don't know, a little shop out the front with some zines or something. And uh, maybe if I got the opportunity someday to present at Offset or to be um, featured on Illustrators Ireland, um, that, that they're some of my dreams.